Hey everybody, Nick Safoni here with Real Estate Investor Online. Thanks so much for joining me. We're finishing up our bird dog series. Well, I really should call it our How to Find Deals series. It started off as a <laughs> it started as a bird dog series, but then it ended up two or three segments in a row on TGIF talking about how to find leads. So call it as you may. Today we're going to talk again on how to find leads. You know, we talked about how to find them manually, what we call driving for dollars, going out and actually looking for houses that look like they are ones that we should make offers on. We talked about getting referrals from people. Uh, that was two segments ago. A segment ago we talked about signs and how to use mailings, bandit signs, banner signs, how to put ads in the newspaper. Today we're talking about the internet. You know, the internet, it's really made this business, it's simplified this business. The one thing it's actually done at the same time is it's made the business too simple in some cases. It's, it's allowed people to promote and talk about push button, easy ways. They're, it's a simple business, but it's not an easy business. And the most important thing is consistency, that whatever you're gonna do, you do it on a regular basis, uh, regardless of if it's ads or bandit signs or the newspaper, um, or if you're using the web. But anyway, let's get to it. Today, mainly what we're gonna talk about is Craigslist and the other I always want to say commercial sites, classified sites on the internet. So we're going to talk about Craigslist, Backpage.com. This is something that we do absolutely every single day. These techniques, these strategies are being used in our business, and they absolutely work. So, And they're free. It just takes a little bit of time. That's the sweetest part, especially if you're a new investor, maybe starting a business on a shoestring. There's two different segments or techniques, strategies, one that I call hunting and the other that I call fishing. And the difference is really hunting is when it's when you go out and you chase down a lead. It's when you know that there's a lead there and you just, you, you get a source of leads, whether it's the internet, a list that you buy, going somewhere and getting a list, developing your own list. But once you have a list, a qualified warm list, let's call it, you, you attack them, you go after them, you shoot them down by either sending them, uh, you know, since we're talking about the internet, by sending them a message through a website or by sending them an email. Now, phishing is when you throw your message out there and you just kind of wait and wait and then you wait for somebody to hit, like a fish hitting the bobber, and then you reel them in. It's not that much of a fight if you're fishing in the right places either. So hunting is when you know, you find sellers and send them your message Phishing is when you place your message out in front of sellers and let them come to you. So, um, Also, um, as you know, Nate Kennedy just came out with his Money Matrix program. Obviously, depending on when you're watching this, just came out as subjective. But Nate Kennedy has a Money Matrix program. I just did an hour, I think it was a little bit over an hour um, long recording for Nate's people for his money matrix students uh, on how to find deals and I mean oh, and it was titled how to find deals for $50 or mo $50 a month or less and I went through literally dozens of ways to find leads if you're one of our mastermind members keep an eye on your email box so I want to send that to you uh, so you're gonna you got an hour long or I should say you have an hour long tutorial on how to find leads for 50 bucks more or less coming to you really soon so watch your email box if you if you're a mastermind member and you joined a little bit of whiles after that date down below send me an email and i'll send you the link just because i like you another reason for you to become a mastermind member besides all the other groovy reasons so anyway so let's talk about craigslist when i say craigslist i don't just mean craigslist i mean craigslist backpage.com kijiji.com which is now ebay classifieds there's Facebook classifieds you can post on. Um, eBay has a classified listing. So any classified sites. But the big ones are Craigslist and Backpage.com. When you're fishing through these sites, all you need to do is go post your ad on Craigslist. Do it once a day. Do it twice a day. The best times to post on these sites are early in the morning and early at night because your ad's more likely to be in viewing range, depending on some cities, there's so many posts going so fast, you get scrolled to page too quick. Um, but early in the morning, early at night. But anyway, uh, and if, you, if you're a Mastermind member and you watch the thing I did with Nate, I think I talked for about 20 minutes on specific ways to use Craigslist, Craigslist tips, tricks, strategies, that type of thing. But simply, all you need to do is put an ad on Craigslist and let people respond to that ad. And the ad could be as simple as, 
we buy houses, any area, place, any area, price range, or condition. I like to make them a little more elaborate, though. The headline is the most important thing. So, everyone else is selling, we're buying. We buy houses. Uh, just here's the best place to find great headlines for your Craigslist ad. Go to Google and type "sell my." Let's say you live in Detroit. Type "sell my Detroit house fast." Google will come up, hit, click, hit go, and you're going to get a list. Across the top of Google and down the right side of the page, those are paid ads. Those are ads that people have spent a lot of money to place there and have done lots and lots and lots of research and cross-testing and you know testing different ads against each other. Copy their headlines. Not, not all the, not, not the middle of the Google page, but the ads across the top and down the right. Those guys have tested and tested and tested those headlines. So use those headlines for your phishing ads when you're posting on Craigslist. And then in the body of your Craigslist or back page ad, I suggest going, clicking on those links on Google, go to those websites and kind of borrow, borrow copy from those websites to fill your Craigslist ad. But the most important thing is that you just let them know you're buying houses, any area, price range, or condition. Put your phone number, put your email address, put your website if you have a website. I like to put a list of reasons why people might be selling, like are you going through a divorce, was there a death in the family, was there a job transfer, do you have an unwanted house, are you a tired landlord, things like that to kind of get people you know, to think and to also have keywords in there that might get Google to pick up your Facebook ad, and not Facebook, your Craigslist ad and show it on Google. So that's some phishing ways. You just put your ads out there, but you got to be consistent. I guarantee you, guarantee, if you put your ad on Craigslist every day or twice a day or at least a few times a week, you are going to get emails, you are going to get phone calls from people who have houses to sell. Now, hunting is when you go to Craigslist, go to Backpage, go to Kijiji, go to those same sites, but instead of posting an ad, and I should say instead of, as well as posting an ad, you're going to go to the real estate for sale section and you're going to look for houses that have motivated seller buzzwords like handyman special, must sell fast, foreclosure, needs repairs, things like that, fixer upper. Um, then you're going to send them a message because you can send messages right through Craigslist and right through Backpage.com. I believe 24 messages is the most that you can send on a daily basis. So if you're going to send more messages than that, create more than one Craigslist account. But find people who have houses for sale, and then there's two types of messages. One is the, hi, I'm an investor, um, and I'm interested in your house message, and the other one is just more vague. Hi, my wife and I are looking for a house in your area. I see yours is for sale. We'd like to talk about it. Here's my phone number, or whatever it might be. Or you can put, I'm in the real estate business. We're buying five to ten houses a month in your area. Call to see if your house qualifies. Whatever it might be. Just write something creative. Um, if it's a motivated seller, they're going to call no matter what you write, if they're the right person, right? So that's the hunting method to use Craigslist and Backpage and eBay Classifieds and Kijiji and other sites like that. Those people have already spent time and money and effort, not money, but effort and time to place their ads there. So that's a great method to find leads. And if you send these out every day or have a VA do it or something or buy a system that does it for you, I guarantee you, you're going to open your email box in the morning and you're going to have people in there that say, hey, I got your email, please call me. Yes, my house is for sale. Another technique is to find other investors in your area and help them sell their property. Most guys that are wholesaling, if they got a house that hasn't sold yet, they'll split their profit with you. They'll give you a percentage of their um, assignment fee. So let's say you live in Detroit, type sell my Google, sell my Google, go to Google and type sell my Detroit house fast, you're going to get a whole list of investors that are buying houses in Detroit. Call them up, tell them I'm a new investor, I'm building a buyer's list, can I help you sell the properties that you already have? And even if they only give you 500 bucks for bringing them a deal, it's 500 bucks, but it's money and you're going to build your buyer's list. So um, also the easiest way to hunt I have two sources that we use, one we've been using for years, one we just started about six months ago. But one is a source that sends you an email every morning of all the new for sale by owner houses in your area. They scour the internet and they read all the newspapers and I don't know how they do it, but somehow any house that's for sale by owner in your area, they compile a list and every morning they'll send you all the new ones by email. They'll also, uh, when you first sign up with them, 
they'll give you the last three months worth of for sales by owner. So just for signing up, you get like hundreds of for sale by owners. Every morning they send you all the for sale by owners. You send them each a message every day. Boom. You got your name and your picture and your information or whatever it is in front of other people. Another source is there's an, I call it better investor leads for a lack of a better source, but um, there's like 60,000 houses for sale all over the country and there's 400 to 1,000 new houses posted on this website every single day. And it's like 40, I think it's 47 bucks a month. But for 47 bucks a month, you get 60,000 deals nationwide. Go to realestateinvestoronline.com. Towards the top on the right, I think it says RE Investor Leads or Real Estate Leads or something like that. So click on that and you'll get both of these great resources where you can have leads sent to you every day. And then you can, you can, you can do it, you can have a VA do it, but you just got to send them an email, send them a message every day. Um, you get the new leads, you send them a message, some of them call you, you follow up, and now you have deals. It's a, it's a wonderful thing. So that's how to use the internet to find deals. Um, again, if you are in our mastermind program, watch your email box. You're going to get a little over an hour long tutorial that I made with Nate Kennedy on lots of different ways. We called it 50 bucks. No. What, we've, something about, I forget what we actually called it, but it was something like how to get plenty of leads every month for less than 50 bucks. But if you're one of our mastermind members, watch your email box. It's on the way. If this is an older video you're watching, if you're one of our mastermind members, send me an email and I'll send it to you. If you're not a member and you're not getting notices of new posts and new events and things going on and meetings, and if you're not getting emails from me a couple times, uh, once, twice a week, go to www.rei-tv.com and uh, you'll get on our notification list. I'll send you emails when all the cool things are happening when I get freebies that I want to pass on to you. And just for signing up, you're going to get two or three hours worth of free training. If you're not a Mastermind member and you want to get that uh, hour-long training that I made with Nate, or you just want to talk to me three times a month, go to realestateinvestoronline.com forward slash M-M-I-N-D for Mastermind. Sometimes I forget the address. All right, realestateinvestoronline.com forward slash M-M-I-N-D. You really should become a mastermind member. We're always throwing new things in. You get to talk to me three times a month. Um, it's the best deal in real estate. So until next time, and I don't know what we're talking about next time. We're finally done with how to find deals, but I guarantee you it'll be cool. This is Nick Safoni from Real Estate Investor Online. Now go make an offer. <laughs>